Sport Tracks guy, and today I'm going to show you how I made my uh, footwells. So they don't make footwells for Honda Rincon 680 or 650, the same thing. Um, so I had to make my own. So I'm just going to show you how I did it, what I use. I'll give you the dimensions if you think about doing them yourself. Uh, it was very easy. I used uh, just like, like for power tools, I think I just used a grinder and a drill. That's it for power tools and a weld machine. Um, to get the bends and everything, I just use wood clamps and hammers. Uh, so, like, all, all of this you can do in your garage. Like, I don't have a fancy garage here. Just, you know, basic tools to take these Hondas apart. And Anyways, let's get started. So, um, where I started from, I stripped everything down. This is my uh, original uh, peg. Iron right, factory peg off the Honda. So your plastic gets bolted to here, right? Um, and also the rods, you know, the rods that you have running to support your plastic, they run to here as well. So I got rid of those rods, threw them out, didn't need them. Uh, so this is the only thing I left and so this is what I worked off. I started with this plate here obviously, right? Um, I had to cut it a few times, kind of play around to get it fit. Once I got it fit, I cut this out and I welded it right to it. And then from there, what I did was I just had this plate here. I then cut this piece here. Uh, took me a couple times off and on, off and on to kind of cut it to find the angle I wanted here to match up. You know, out, out here too, right? So. It's, a lot of curves with the Honda Raincon, so to kind of make it look half decent, you really have to stay with the curves and work with it and take some time. Also with the bending as well, right? You can see, I know it doesn't look off camera, it doesn't look like it's bent much, but there's a couple curves in there that you just don't. Um, so anyways, um, once I got well, everything kind of where I want it to, I started, uh, I worked on, I made an extra bracket here. So I threw an extra bracket back here. Um, I went with a 3 8 flat bar. It's a little bit heavy duty for flat bar, but I didn't want to like a piece of tube or angle iron hanging down, something else to catch on, right? It's nice and low, it doesn't get to catch on anything, right? There's my uh, factory peg as well underneath there, right? So, so this here is just a U-bolt on the frame I put on. Uh, it works great, it's fantastic. This is uh, definitely, if you guys are building one, put a uh, support here in the front somewhere, however you want to do it. You bolt on the frame works perfect. I don't have an issue with that. Um, it can take my weight. I throw my weight around, you get in those deep ruts and uh, you want to throw your weight around. This is more than strong enough to stand on all over and throw your, your whole body weight on it. As you can see here, I added just a little bracket here. That's for the front fender, uh, just to kind of hold it in place. And I also threw a bracket here on the side. That's just to help the plate from uh, uh, bending, right? Just in, just reinforces it a little bit more. Drilled some, I think these are like one inch holes or something like that, or inch and an eighth holes in it. Kind of clear out the mud help. It works okay, it's not the best. Um, I would like to have more holes in it, to be honest with you. So if you are making one, maybe add bigger holes or add more holes, something I might do in the future. But anyways, uh, I'm going to get into, uh, I'll do some measurements for you guys. So, here at the front, 10 and a half. And at the back, it gets a little bit wider here. If you guys can see, it's a little bit off. I had to trim that out for the uh, break, but that's about 12 inches here in the back. So, 10 and a half, 12 back here. What's my length here? Well, 16 and a half for the length. As you can see here, your center point where your factory uh, peg is, is at six inches. So you run six inches to your back wheels, 10 and a half to your front. Um, like I said, you can always make them smaller. Uh, it doesn't hurt to go a little bit smaller. But uh, this right here gives you clearance for 30, so you don't rub at all. So you should be happy with it. Up here it's about 9 inches. And over here... Over here it's about 14 inches. Uh, the back piece here, obviously, you're going to have to match it up yourself and figure out because it's uh takes a little bit of time consuming trying to get the angles that you want. Um, 
So I suggest you just start with this base here. Uh, I put a curve in this, right, as well. I don't know if you guys can see, but put a curve in that. So I kind of just, you know, I wanted to make something that looked kind of cool. I guess have a nice little rounded flow going. But anyways, um, you can make them any way you want. I'm going to throw these on the machine. Uh, and then maybe I'll show you some uh, wheel clearance that you have with the dimensions I just gave you. All right, guys, so we got the steps on here. Uh, as you can see, uh, bolt three bolts here in uh, the rear uh, rear plastic. Two bolts here in the front, right? It pulls this out. You got lots of room. Um, you got your U-bolt here in the frame. I don't know if you can see there. That's bolted in. And then you have two bolts here on your peg, your factory peg, which everything's welded to. So take a good look there. You got about two inches there on the back. Yeah, you got, let's call it three and a half. We'll call it three and a half plate safe. Got three and a half uh, inches here in the front of clearance. And like I said, I don't have any rubbing with the 30s on here at all. So with this side up here, you can definitely run 30s. I'm happy with it. Uh, I like the way it came out. It's got some nice curves to it. Like I said, I try to make everything as curvy as possible to match the lines that I already have. So works for me. Uh, like I said, I can clear 30s with this. So if you look and clear 30s, this is a good start to make up a little footwell here. Any questions, just uh, leave a comment below.